hello you're welcome how to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here now what we have here this follows what we have a is to power n minus n which is the same thing as a is to power n over a is to power n this here we have eight is to power x over eight squared equals to 80 from here then yeah the same thing as eight is to power x over a squared a times eight which is 64 equals to we can write this as 80 over one the next step here we cross multiply eight raised to power x times one same thing as eight raised to power x equals to 80 times 64 from here the next step we take the log on both side and this here we have log eight raised to power x equals to log 80 times 64. And this next step here, we apply the power of log n. When we have log n raised to power p, this same thing as p log m. And this here we have x log 8 equals to log 80 times 64. Then from here we divide both side by log hit. That is divide this side by log hit. Also divide this side by log hit. That this a log eight cancel each other. And we have x equals to log eighty times sixty four over log hit. And from here this follows the law of log what well, we have log a times b is same thing as log a plus log b this here we have x equals to log 80 plus log 64 over log 8 then next step here we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 80 over log 8 plus log 64 over log 8 then from here we can express 64 as 8 times 8 that's 8 squared then what we have here becomes x equals to log 80 over log 8 plus log 8 square over log 8 and here we apply the power of logarithm 2 comes in and we have x equals to log 80 over log 8 plus 2 log 8 over log 8 then here log 8 cancelled each other here this becomes x equals to log 80 over log 8 plus 2 then for what we have here also 80 can be written as 8 times 10 and this becomes x equals to log 8 times 10 over log 8 plus 2. And this here, we apply the law of logarithm as well. And what we have becomes x equals to log 8 plus log 10 over log 8 plus 2. Then we separate this into two fractions. We have x equals to log 8 over log 8 plus log 10 over log 8 plus 2. That is, next step here we have log 8 cancelled each other and one left here. That is, x equals to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus log 10 over 
log h. Then also from here, time can be expressed as 2 times 5. This becomes x equals to 3 plus log 2 times 5 over log 8. And this also follows the log problem, and we have x equals to 3 plus log 2 plus log. 5 over log 8. That is, we also separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to 3 plus log 2 over log 8 plus log 5 over log 8. Then, what we have here, we can express it as 2 times 2 times 2, that's 2 raised to power 3. Here we have x equals to 3 plus log 2 over log 2 raised to power 3 plus log 5 over log 2 raised to power 3. Then we apply the power of logarithm here. 3 comes here and also here, and we have x equals to 3 plus log 2 over 3 log 2 plus log 5 over 3 log 2. Then, next step here, we have log 2 cancelled each other. This becomes x equals to 3 plus 1 over 3 plus also here we can write this as 1 over 3 times log 5 over log 2. And this same thing as x equals to 3 plus 1 over 3 can be written as 10 over 3 10 plus 1 over 3 times log 5 over log 2. Then also we apply change of base here. When we have log a over log b, this same thing as log a to base b. At this here, we have x equals to 10 over 3 plus 1 over 3 log 5 base 2. Then, yeah, we bring this together as one fraction, and we have x equals to the SCM made as 3. This same thing as 10 plus log 5. Is two. At this we have the value of x here. Then let's check if this satisfies this given problem. At this we substitute the value of x into this problem, which is x equals to ten plus log five is two. All over 3. Then what we have here becomes 8 raised to power 10 plus log 5 is 2 all over 3 minus 2 is it equals to 80 on this side. And here we bring this together as one fraction. This two are one, and we have eight raised to the power SCM of here. That's two. Here we still have ten plus log SCM is three. Here we still have log five is two. Then minus six here now. Is it equals to eighty on this side? At this here, ten minus six that's four. We have eight raised to the power four plus. Log 5 is 2 all over 3. This is equals to 80 on this side. And also, 8 can be written as 2 raised to power 3, which is raised to power 4. Plus log 5 is 2 all over 3. This is equals to 80 on this side. This power multiplies. We have 3 here cancelled each other. This becomes 2 raised to power 4. Plus log 5 is 2 
is it equals to 80 on this side this function we have a raised to power n plus n is the same thing as a raised to power n times a raised to power n this here we have 2 raised to power 4 times 2 raised to power log 5 raised to is it equals to 80 on this side 2 raised to power 4 so multiply say 4 times that's 16 times this follows now we have a raised to power log b to base a which is equals to b now this here we have 5 is it equals to 80 on this side 16 times 5 that's 80 which is equals to 80 from here we have left hand side equals to the right hand side and therefore we conclude that x equals to 10 plus log 5 is 2 all over 3 satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget this step subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comment see you next class and bye for now